Welcome back to Factorio C Block, and it's time to continue with our circuit factory. Now uh, we get a little bit of an improvement, or at least we will do shortly. Uh, remember when I said last episode that we needed to get an algae farm running again? Well, not quite. Um, what we can actually do, we well, need to make these basic circuit boards because we need to make more electronic circuits. They're just iron and some basic electronic boards. They're just solder and basic electronic components. And we have both of those, I hope, solders here and here. And we've got basic electronic components here. So all we need to do is get basic circuit boards to around here and probably we'll send it off down to that box right there. And that should do us. Now, previously we've used the basic recipe. We just need copper cable and some wooden board. Wooden board we've got through paper and that's the whole cellulose pulp chain, which is horrible. However, if we do a little bit of research, we can get the other recipe, which is wood processing three. That's why it's researching at the top right. And that will take in wood and will export wooden board, which is exactly what we want along with copper cable. So we're going to want to grab copper cable from somewhere again. Uh, I think I've got a few of them now, a few machines actually making it. These two combined here are for the final production. So uh, we can probably make more here and uh, borrow that, I think, because we've got wood on this side. Uh, and this is just resin, so it might be interesting. Should we just extend it uh, underneath? I might do a job. Let's just get that uh, going. Yep, and then we can just if, grab wooden board from there, I guess, or bring it around. Um, I sort of don't want to leave it there anyway, so let's just... Maybe send it this way. Oh, we can just, yeah, we can just shock. Oh, my inventory's full. Ooh, it's horrible. Let's just get rid of that for a second. There it is. And uh, do I have any resin in my inventory? I can just get rid of, put it in a box somewhere. It's usual that I don't. So yep, yeah, there we are. And we don't mind there being a bit of resin on the on the belt with it. That's not much of an issue. I'm going to make a box somewhere and I'm going to leave a, a, a box and we're just going to put stuff in it because I need some more space. Um, slag, crotonium chunks, crushed stone. Who needs any of that stuff anyway? Um, anything else we can get rid of? Say so circuit boards and sulfur and stone pipe to ground. Yeah, that'll give me a fair bit of space. Let's just clean that up off the floor and then we can just drop that back down. Where's the resin gone? It's going to be in my invent. Ah, there it is. Yeah. We'll just put it on this side of the line. It doesn't matter because it's already loading on just that one side there. Okay, so now we should be able to just feed this around. And then just go underneath. There we go. Okay, so here we can start thinking about, it's nearly done, a factory or assembly machine, I should say. I always make that mistake. I should just rename the things. <laughs> so we'll just make a, um, well, a, probably a tier one would be fine, but let's just use a tier two and feed some power in. And then this should be just coming along for us to make wooden boards. Come on. There we go. So... Wooden boards. Cool. So in one step from our existing wood chain. That's perfect. All right. So that means we just need copper cable. <laughs> we have copper here. And both of those will be fine. So we can then combine the two directly into basic circuit boards. And we can even use... Oh, we can use electronics assembling for both of them. I think I may well switch across to that. So assemble... What do we need? We need more iron. Okay, that's not a problem. It's down here somewhere. Uh, where's the iron box? There it is, it's full. So, assembling. And we'll actually rebuild this with all of them. There we go. And we're going to direct feed into the middle. Now we need to move it one further out. There we go. So if we grab from here, 
we'll be able to make this into copper cable. This one is going to be wooden board. And this one is going to be the circuit boards. Then we can just flip everything around. Uh, let's just move. Can we connect that way? Looks like we can. And what are you waiting for? You're waiting for wood. That probably just means me replacing that. There we go. And this needs to be just set to grab them a little bit further away. There we go. Set it the same both sides so it doesn't have to extend and retract. And now we're making basic circuit boards, which we can then pull into a few different places. I think let's just think about putting some there. Okay, and let's send them this way. Underneath, and I'm probably gonna split them. I need some here and some here, so that shouldn't be terrible. You gonna make more for me? Or is it still making inserters? It's still making inserters. That's fine, let's just uh, actually put them onto the belt so it can continue making stuff. And now I've got enough. Okay, so we're going to put a splitter in place probably here. And then we'll have three of the ingredients there. And this fourth one, we can just bring down this sort of way. And directly into that. We probably won't even need that box, but it is there, so we're not actually researching a huge amount at the moment, which means we should probably set some research going. So uh, what have we got for blue science? Science? Um, we've already got the blue science done, so we then need to start thinking about some other things. Uh, all processing two will be good. Um, electric energy distribution two will be good. Uh, powder metallurgy. Good more space. All this requires, um, however, blue science. So there's not really much I can actually do until we get blue science running. So let's just have a look at the rest of red and green and see if there's anything good. Uh, second tier of electronics assembly machines using advanced circuits, which we're just about to build, and that will be good. I think we'll just go for that. And uh, let's just build some more belt. Get that connected up. And do I actually want that there? Let's just reclaim that, shall we? There we go. And there we go. So that belt should fill up quite naturally. And then we just got to figure out how we're going to feed onto the other side of this belt. Um, what is it we actually need? We need electronic circuits first. And in fact, that's the wrong place for it, isn't it? Um, I needed them somewhere else. I need electronic circuits, which means I need to get this made first. Okay, so we probably need to put the splitter further back for now. Okay, so I just need basic electronic components and I need solder. So as I said before, we have them both just here. So if I have these two, I can make the basic electronic boards, which I can turn into electronic circuits with a bit of iron. But I don't have iron up here, interestingly enough. Um, do we have any iron anywhere nearby? I don't think we do. Well, sort of here, but that's not great. Uh, that's not a great place for it. It's not bad here. Just grab iron directly off this with a, an inserter. And only iron. I suppose I could take copper as well. There'd be no harm in it, but um, let's just start with iron and let's see what we need to do. Where did that inserter go? Oh, it's on my other tool belt. And let's just get iron plates. There we go. All right, so if iron's there, uh, we're going to need the two ingredients from here. They're coming in either way, so we could, again, use filter inserters to grab them. That might be less crammed than actually trying to build a machine in here and feeding stuff. So I think we should probably do that. And then we can then grab um, a this stuff from here. There we go. We probably want to go this away a little bit. And then we can bring them both together over here, wherever the iron is. I think that'll be a good idea. So in that case, 
Uh, we can just use filter inserters. Uh, let's just make two. And then we'll set them up just to dump onto this. And one's going to feed a little bit further away. So let's just... Uh, can we do this? Um, yeah, we can. Let's just put it here. You'll see what I mean in a second. Uh, I want to set up something like this. Where it's picking up... Uh, let's just set this to the electronic components. There we go. So it's only going to pick up from this and needs to drop there. And that's why I've put it, you know, exactly like this. So that it only rotates through 90 degrees and it stays the same distance away. So that's the important point. There we go. So that's that one filled. And then we want one from this side feeding directly here. However, this one, we want to, first of all, make sure that it is dropping on this side of the belt. And we only want solder. go and we can set it to pick up and drop there we go fine so the three of those should be workable and we can bring them this way and what was the exact recipe electronic circuits needs basic electronic boards so we need basic circuit boards these three that will make the basic electronic boards and then combine that with iron so instead of shipping all of them let's just get let's get them made around about here and we'll put a machine in here we can probably use electronic assembly machines again to be honest and let's just grab from there Need some more power, but should be sortable otherwise. There we go, some more power. And now can we make the electronic circuit? Oh, not the electronic circuits, it's the predecessor, isn't it? Basic electronic boards. Yep. Okay, so that's going to work just fine. And on this side, we will, um, well, we can just ship the iron in rather than that out. But I probably want more space here for other things. So, all of the, the other things. Yeah, I need the electronic circuits here. I need this and this, so it's best to actually combine them here. And then we'll just need to bring in aluminium plate. Fine, so let's put another assembly machine down. We're going to just feed directly into it. And we're going to select the circuit. There it goes. And we should feed the iron in. Let's put that there. Feed the iron in this way. Bring it up here. And we're done, I think, for that stage. So then we will just bring it out to the other side. And finish off. We then just need to bring aluminium plate in. So that's going to need a typical kind of furnace of some kind. How are we going to get that? So if you remember last episode, we do actually generate aluminium plate. It's down here, though. Well, not aluminium plate, aluminium ore, sorry. It's down on this side. And it's stacking up here because it gets made into green metal catalysts. So we could take it off here. Let's just see what we need to actually make aluminium plate. Uh, or at least what options we have. Um, well, very little, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need advanced aluminium smelting, it looks like. So, uh, aluminium, aluminium, which way is it pronounced? Uh, it's ah, spelled with a British spelling. Fine. Okay, so that is straight away something we can get. Good. And that will go ahead. Um, are we going to need to move this? No, I can sort of work around it. I can just grab a um, something from here and put a belt that way if I want to. And then we can just select to drop that way. OK, processing it, however, is going to be another thing entirely. Uh, we're going to have to find a space for a smelting setup. And it's probably easier just given the amount of room that I've taken up so far on this. 
uh, for us to avoid the existing smelting setups here and here and just bring this via belt up towards where we want it. So maybe this space here that we've got quite a bit available, we can uh, get started with that. So is that the typical setup with uh, aluminium smelting? So let's take a look. Uh, aluminium plates coming from molten, coming from aluminium ingot, all induction furnace, um, but we need to get alumina and carbon for it. Alumina comes from alumina hydroxide, so we need sodium hydroxide, which is from saline. But I think we're already getting that. I'm almost sure we're already getting that, and I think I'm just boxing it up somewhere. Because I already use the chlorine and the hydrogen elsewhere. And if it is, then it's going to be up here somewhere um, in a box. Like this box right here. We've only got 28 of it, though. And that's probably because we're not using anything else uh, as fast. What are we stopped on? Uh, chlorine? Yeah, uh, we're stuck on chlorine. Hydrogen is there as well. It's because the output is blocked. And that's pretty much it. So um, we may want to just create a separate setup for this that we just dump everything except, yeah, everything except the uh, sodium hydroxide, was it? Yeah, and that's relatively easy to do. Uh, we can just set up something new. So that's a hydro plant and an electrolyzer. Okay, so do I have enough stuff to make that? I'm going to need a pump as well. So one pump. I'm probably going to need iron. That's probably what I'm short of, which is fine. We might need quite a bit for this, so let's just get some more. Okay, so a pump, a hydro pant. <laughs> that needs circuits. Oh, if only we, we were making circuits somewhere. Um, yeah, there we go. Let's get some circuits. A uh, hydro plant and electrolyzer. Uh, I should mark one should do us. And we just want some more water fill, don't we? And we'll start this process off. So I think, in fact, we've already got a, a source of water here and a hydro plant, but that's doing something else. Uh, I think we are. Yeah, we're, we're, ooh, we're getting rid of the. Are we getting rid of the saline? I think we are. Or we're doing a different recipe there anyway, so we don't need to worry about it. Let's actually create its own dedicated setup. And that's not big enough. It needs to be a bit more. Uh, that's the blueprint. I keep going for the blueprint instead of the water fill. There we go. Oh, is, that, is that enough for you? Yep, it is. Okay. So then we want our hydro plant, presumably. And... That's annoying. Let's let's reroute that with at a power. In fact, that isn't even needed. So let's definitely get rid of the uh, the obstacle. All right. So there we go. We want the chlorine, which is just basically there. That's the recipe we need. And from that, we're going to get a electrolysis. And we will use that recipe. Okay, so now we're just going to flare stack both of them. And that will do us. So a couple of flare stacks. One, two. And we need to basically clarify... Clar <laughs> That's hard to say sometimes. Clarify a lot of this to get rid of it. Okay, so that's one flare stack. Second one should be being built, and then we just need to connect it up with power. There's our second flare stack. And then we'll, we can just feed this off onto a belt somewhere. So let's just assume the belt's going to come out this way. And there we go. So now we need to power you. And again, another clarifier, which probably needs more iron, I would have thought. Is it iron? Stone bricks. Okay, I'll go and get that and come back. Okay, here we go, and that's just coming off, and it's being constantly produced. Well, I may well think about upgrading that to Electrolyzer Mark II, actually. Uh, I think I'd like a little bit more speed there, so let's just make that. This can make it pretty fast. Yeah, so let's just make the Mark II. 
Right, so that means we need to then go into Illumina. So let's just redo that. Uh, so we need the aluminium ore and we need the sodium hydroxide and we can combine them in a powder mixer. So that is, again, straightforward to make. Uh, let's get that done. Electrolyzer is just being produced. And then I need to, need to run a belt to wherever that powder mixer is. So if we put the powder mixer here, for instance, it seems like a decent place to put it, then I just need to get the aluminium ore from there all the way over here, which isn't actually too bad. There's a fairly big gaps around places. So, but I'll do that off camera, of course. Now let's just get the powder mixer up and let's just put it here for argument's sake. And let's get this going. I mean, hydroxide, put some power in, and then I'm going to need to go and manufacture a lot of belt. I need to start putting a, a mall in here, but uh, I, I still far too, uh, Far too spaghettified for a mall just yet, but uh, that's fine. Let's get a couple more hundred iron, and now we'll get this belt over here. And here we go. Aluminium is coming this way, and that should now be complete. It should be just heading up towards our powder mixer, and of course we'll bring it just at the end of this, just around this way. And we'll just feed it directly in. So let's pick up from down here, drop that way, and that will work. So that should give us aluminium hydroxide, which we can then turn into alumina uh, directly. So we just need a blast furnace for that. Good. A blast furnace. And I think it probably feeds into the second blast furnace, doesn't it, uh, alumina? And then we're going to use that using a second blast furnace. Yeah, and we just need to add some carbon to the process. So I'm gonna to need to make that second blast furnace as well. Okay, and I need carbon from somewhere. Now I did have a box of it around here somewhere. I think it's up there, but to be honest, that's sort of cramped and horrible. <laughs> so again, I'm just gonna keep a box until I can reorganize the factory later with bots. So to do that, we're just gonna figure out a box and I need to go and grab it. Well, it's actually not too far from here. So at some point I'm going to need to run a, um, just a belt with this stuff on. Okay. But for now, we don't need to worry. Let's get the bus furnace in. So there is where it's connected. So we want one away from that and then one away from this. And that actually needs fuel in both cases. So, uh, we're just going to fill it with so if I put the box here. If I fill it with carbon, and let's just put it in here for now, because we're going to run a uh, belt anyway, eventually. Okay, there it goes. Both of those are now fueled. Uh, we need some more inserters. And the first one is going to be alumina. Second one is then going to be aluminium ingot. There we go. And let's put a couple there. One here. And it should be ready, I think. Yeah, it's just waiting for... Where's my aluminium all gone? Has it not come up here yet? Have I not connected it somewhere? Oh. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that that was... Ah, there it comes. <laughs> no problem now. All right, so that whole chain should now be in production. So from here, from the aluminium ingot, we need to get to aluminium plate. So aluminium, not alumina, uh, which is just molten through a regular induction furnace and through casting machines. So those are similar to our previous things. So induction is going to need more iron. Uh, no, it's not. I've got plenty of iron. What does that need? Induction. Steel. Okay. Steel isn't too much of a problem. I'm just not doing a large amount of production of steel just yet, but there is some in a box here. Occasionally you can just grab a stack and it will just uh, be quite passively okay. Uh, so yeah, 
let's get that done. So induction. Merge to level one and a casting machine. Uh, typically three, but uh, I'm not sure whether it'll be needed need that many. And then we're going to need to feed that plate over here and onto the right hand side of this line here. And we should get everything done then. So where is my belt? Uh, I'm probably going to need to bring it this way. So let's just put a underground. And then we'll just feed it back this way. Like that. And that should be okay. So induction furnace. Uh, let's feed it that way. Uh, can we feed it that way? Let's, let's actually put it this way. Yeah. And then we will then separate this. And be able to essentially just feed stuff onto this belt. And in fact, we can feed directly onto that belt there. And for this, so it's only for that top one, that's fine. Okay, so we need some pipe. Uh, not underground pipe, regular. And some power. All right, now what, what's backed up now? <laughs> Output blocked, output blocked. Why? Oh, because I've not selected the recipe yet. So, molten aluminium and then aluminium plate. Copy and paste. We can grab our inserters. So, one can go here, here, and here. And finally, just a bit of power. There we go. And this one just needs adjusting to drop, uh, pick up and drop that way. And to be honest, we can use this one to just grab and drop this way. There we go. So that's aluminium done. That's going to head across. And then we should have everything we need for red circuits, I think. Red circuits. Yep, we have everything we need. And it can be done in that second level of electronics assembling machines. But I think that needs red circuits to do. So I think we'll need to use this temporarily to make them, at least to start with. And we can just put, there we go. Is that connected to anything? No, it's not. There we go. All right. And there we go. So can we now select red circuits? We can. Oh, that's so nice. All right. One of those needs to go and fetch the stuff from far away. There we go. And I think I may well actually just upgrade them to the fast inserters just for aesthetic reasons. <laughs> uh, have you changed back? You have changed back. And we're producing advanced circuits. So I think the first thing we're going to do with that is just upgrade those assembling machines. So uh, we need five advanced circuits for it. There we go. And then we'll just upgrade this one machine and we should be good to go. Hopefully that's faster. But let's take a look. Uh, that is 213 kilowatts versus... 135, but its crafting speed is much, much faster. That will be definitely something we're going to do. So let's just craft one. There we go. And I'm actually just going, well, I would, but my player inventory is full. Where's that box? <laughs> Bring that box back. Uh, there it is. Uh, I've probably got various bits and pieces of stuff that I don't need. Um, Steel bearings, yeah, who's need, who needs those? Geodes, various ores, even aluminium ore. Yeah, again, bring space up. There we go. And then that can be replaced with this. We can just bring this all back in again. And away it goes. All right. There we go. That's much faster. Now that may be too fast for our aluminium supply. 
it just really depends. You can see there's not a lot of it coming up here because it's being generated by other processes. I mean, it's slow and steady, but you know, we'll, we'll see how well that goes. In which case, however, this, these electronic circuits, uh, what can we do with them? What's the next thing we should do with them? The next thing we should do with them, and this is going to be next episode, uh, is actually getting to blue science. As you might imagine, uh, that's a pretty good thing to do. And that's going to need a few things. So once we've got the blue science research itself, aluminium, which we've got, copper, gold, which we've got, and nitrogen should be fairly straightforward. Yep, it's just from compressed air. And we can make atomic sensor arrays from that, which will be made, which will make blue science. The only other thing is you need is femto laser array. And this is other stuff that we already have access to. So steel, naphtha, methanol. Um, copper, glass, gold, aluminium, copper, glass, electronic circuits, and nitrogen again. So we have now everything we technically need to get blue science up and running, which is going to be amazing uh, because that basically unlocks a huge amount of research, uh, lots of improvements that we would like to get to. Uh, I think I'm just going to make more large solar panels. Okay. That's can get researched. So, yep, this is starting to look a bit, like, little bit spaghettified, but we have um, a nice production of electronic circuits here. So I'm just going to box them up. Let's use a steel box. That's a bit ambitious, I know, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll make a steel box. And uh, that can keep them boxed away for me to grab whenever I need to. And next episode, hopefully you join me for Blue Science, I think. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you have, feel free to like, subscribe and share as you normally would. Click the bell next to the subscribe icon if you want to see any more notifications for this or if you prefer station ears, click the bell icon on the, the videos for that. I guess, uh, I think it may just be that for the whole channel. In any case, um, uh, you can follow that or you can indeed you can follow me on Twitter at Greyduster and the notifications go there as well without bothering the YouTube system so much. Okay, as always guys, thanks a lot for watching.